Rustin is the new Netflix film about activist Bayard Rustin. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell location for more up and coming content. Bayard Rustin, advisor to Martin Luther King Jr. dedicates his life to the quest for racial equality and human rights. However, as an openly gay black man, he is all but erased from the civil rights movement he helped build. So the way that this movie is filmed, we see the build up to the 1963 March on Washington, one of the biggest moments in history history with a powerful speech by Martin Luther King Jr. But the way that this film is structured, it, it builds off of the importance of Rustin and preparing for this march. Planning it, having hundreds of thousands of people attend, orchestrating flights and buses to pick people up and take them there. You see the importance that Rustin had in history, but as an openly gay black man, He's all but erased from this civil rights movement. And we see uh, the importance of him within this film, him being an advisor to Martin Luther King Jr. So I appreciated this movie. It it's a movie that informs you about Rustin. It shows you all the moments that inspire you. It shows you all the moments of leading up to that march, the planning process going into it. People doubted him about it all and just how he uh, persuaded people and inspired them to do the right thing. And Coleman Domingo gives one of his best performances ever, one of the best performances of this year. He's confident in the role. There's a lot of emotional scenes that uh, Coleman Domingo delivers so well. If it's a certain line that would inspire you, the way that Coleman Domingo delivers these lines is very Oscar worthy. He's very powerful in the movie. He's very confident. He's calm at times and just oozes those emotional scenes within this film. And he does it so well to where you feel that importance of this person in the 60s during the civil rights movement and how he inspired so many people. It's your kind of classic look at a biopic around this time during the civil rights movement. It does a great job of informing you about the civil rights movement and Rustin as a person and inspiring you and uh, uplifting you as well. Performances are very strong. It's a nicely directed movie as well by George Wolf. Uh, nice moments. Um, lingering on conversations to fill that weight of the civil rights movement and the planning going into it and the dedication for the civil rights movement and this march on Washington, how bold of an idea it was. He fully believed in it and pushed people to do the right thing. Chris Rock and Jeffrey Wright are in the film giving good performances in their supporting role. And I did like Amel Amin as Martin Luther King Jr. Felt very calm, very welcoming performance, uh, presence that felt very nurturing and warming as well. The performances, the structure of this movie, I like its focus on Rustin, a person that many people may not know due to him being openly gay, as we see that, that March, Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech was so powerful what happened leading up to that? What happened planning it? And we see that dedication from Rustin within this movie to make it one of the best movies of this year. A really good performance from Coleman Domingo that deserves your attention. It's emotional. It's personal. One of his best. At times, it does feel a bit typical when it comes to its approach as a biopic. It does all the right things to inform you. does all the right things to inspire you about this movement but it all does it in a very powerful way. So before I give you my score for Rustin on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see in YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you have to see where Rustin ranks amongst all the other 2023 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give Rustin a B plus. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Rustin. Have you guys seen it by chance? What'd you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.